Hi everybody, Jacob here from Children's Museum Houston, and I am here in the Chevron Maker Annex where we're gonna do a super fun project today. We're gonna be making mechanical monsters. Are you ready? So the materials you will need for this project are some pieces of paper, cardboard, cardstock. I even have foam sheet for this, but anything that resembles a piece of paper. Uh, some popsicle sticks or cardboard that is kind of the shape of popsicle sticks. So mine are about an inch by eight inches. That size is roughly good. String or pipe cleaners, anything that bends and ties. And then you'll also need some tools such as scissors. If you're using popsicle sticks or something wood, you'll need a drill, otherwise you'll just need scissors. Uh, a pencil is very helpful for this one. It could be whatever color and some hot glue or tape or other type of glue. I use hot glue because it dries very fast. So since we're using a hot glue gun and a drill in this project, we do need to make sure we're being safe. So I'm gonna put on my safety glasses. At home, if you decide to use a hot glue gun or a drill for your version of this project, make sure you have adult supervision. You find an adult in your household who can help you with those uh, things. So the first thing you need to do is drill holes through your popsicle sticks. If you're using something like cardboard where you can just use scissors, just use the scissors. I have to use the drill because I'm using something made out of wood. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the popsicle sticks and wrap the rubber band around uh, each end. So one rubber band on each end of the popsicle sticks. Just get it nice and tight so that they all stay together real nice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole, one on each end and then one in the middle. Once the popsicle sticks have the holes in them or cardboard has the holes in them, depending on what you're using, this is what you'll do. You're going to Make an X out of two of them. Put one of your pipe cleaners or string through the hole in the middle and then twist it or tie it around so that they're connected. And that makes an X that goes like that. Now you'll make another X and do the same thing with the other two. Get another pipe cleaner, put it through and tie it or twist it. There you go. Now that you have two X's, you're gonna complete it by putting the ends of each of them over each other and doing the same thing, just tying them together. So you just put the holes at the ends and tie them like that. And then on the other end, the same thing, tie them like that. What you end up with is this. When you open and close one end, the other end opens and closes as well. Now we have holes on each end that you can continue building a longer and longer mechanical monster, but this is all I'm gonna do for today because this is the minimum of what you need to do. Once you have this created, you now have the base for your mechanical monster. From there, it is basically an art project. So now you just come up with a monster to put on the end of your mechanism here and you draw it and cut it out and glue it to your mechanism. So once you have created your monster, what you want to do is you want to take the two parts of it, by the way your monster should be in two parts, um, and glue one part to one stick and then the other part to the other stick. So I'm going to do that right now, take some of my glue. And stick 
one part right here, leaving as much space in between as you can because you want it to be able to close. Now here is my finished mechanical monster. When I open and close one end, the monster goes rum, 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 rum. So I can't wait to see what monsters you all can design. Can you make an even longer mechanism for your monster to be at the end of? Uh, what kinds of things can you put at the end that'll open and close? So share with us what you make and I can't wait to see it. Bye everyone.